Fountain of Life Church now. If you confirm that one to us now. I am the lead pastor of the Fountain of Life Church. Yes. I was ordained as a minister in 2009. Mm. So, it's no today. Then as I moved back, they ordained me for this church in Fountain as a pastor in 2012. So, 2012, I was the lead pastor of the youth church, Church 316, till about 2020 or to 2020 or 2021. So, for those who don't know, they know. If you don't know, no, Allah. <laughs> but I don't do this ministry as a licensed minister since 2009. What will be some of the challenges we say you don't face so far? Things where I don't see for life, nothing they shake me again. Mm. <laughs> so you get. Because when you don't see plenty of things, for this, it is my short time. I don't experience plenty of things for my life. When you don't lose your papa, you don't lose your mama. And I do like this. I don't get papa, I don't get mama again. Mm. <laughs> so you get. Uh, two of the closest people, mm. you know, to me. I don't lose my mama, I don't lose my papa, I don't lose my auntie, I don't lose my grandma, I don't lose my grandpa, the only grandpa and grandma where I know. I don't lose plenty of people for my life. So when the thing where you fear the most don't happen, it's in day again now. Over the years, you know, when that kind of thing happened for family like that, everybody, by force, you will just become close because as you don't lose one member, you realize, hey man, this life, not, <laughs> nothing is sure. You know that kind of thing? So all of a sudden, you know, you just become closer. So I think through it all, even with when my father... As you remarry, you say, okay, let's move on with life. And then, that one too, she die. The constant in all of it, now my papa, at least, because my papa was a strong man, now man in me. It's not anything that you see coming, you know? It wasn't like, you know, we knew that, okay, Popsy would die soon, or everybody prepare, you know, that kind of thing. And if you ask me, I could tell you, say, Popsy, you would have been alive 80, 90, perhaps a day, because full of life, energy. When man, they preach, they walk up and down, they run, you know. They, you know, so, me, yeah, I just recently say, how more? So it's 90. <laughs> how you go address that um, issue of dread, where people, they always uh, talk about, now, where you be lead pastor? Now, God call me, as I am, as I did, now, God call me. In this season of my life, this... This new position is a big responsibility. Mm. So all of my focus right now is here. Now as for my dreads, you know, <laughs> um, that matter long because people don't know see everything that they do. I feel back I'm up with scripture. Everything I do, mm. I buy if you tell me, oh, I say no problem, maybe look Bible now. Say, okay, what time is say, ah, long hair is wrong. Check Bible, I say, ah, but I say God tells something, make you no cut in here now. Not Bible now. Mm -hmm. God tells something, make you no cut in here now. Okay. So that means hair, hey, long hair, so a bad thing. Oh, ah, see, Pastor, you get beard, oh, you get that. Uh. But now, so Bible talks, say that Jesus, when they, they, they torture him, they, they, they pull his hair from his face. If you don't get beard, which, which hair did they pull? Oh, now, now fresh skin. You see, you understand? Oh, the pastor, you know, uh, the pastor, he did wear a ring. I said, I have no problem. I go to the book of is it, uh, is it Exodus when the children of Israel, as they come out from Egypt, they won't do golden calf. Aaron Gold collects, he said, all you people bring your jewelry. They collected the rings and earrings from their sons and their daughters of Israel. God's people. So, anything when people ask me, see, everybody, can do whatever they want to do. Personal opinion, different from, say, it's in a scene. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If you like long hair, no problem. If you like short hair, no problem. But if you tell me, say, because you get short hair, and if you get long hair because long hair not seen, my brother, that's where we don't agree. Now when we say you don't move into ministry, how you want to handle this, uh, the career, the acting, and the ministry? Uh, share your acting career, you go day on hold. At the time where I, I start the act, people tell me, say, I don't feel do this, both of them. They tell me, say, I don't 
I don't feel the pastor, the actor. See, church no go accept me. Mm. The world no go accept me. So church go push me. They say this one way they acting. The world say, I just want to be the pastor. We don't want you. But if God sends you somewhere, and I ain't go clear the path for you. Mm. You understand what I talk. So when I started the acting, people told me it was not possible. But see what you God do. I carry I was there for six years. In six years, in an industry that's very hard to break into. God helped me, not only in Hollywood, but from here, they can't find me, carry me, go Hollywood. So, waiting God don't show me, be say, with him, nothing is impossible. You know, I can't do anything for you. So, as God don't ask me, say, oh yeah, come and do this one. How I will manage him. Whether in a production or whether in a EP or whether in a behind the scenes or maybe in front of this. Now God go figure out my but for now, as I did like this, my responsibility, especially say, because Popsy don't go, my church had a face. But you no know me say, <laughs> I don't know if he acts. <laughs> Once an actor, always an actor. The question I ask myself, they say, what do people come what which people want to learn from this world where they play this character? Because the the idea people always think say because I be pastor, the only good role I supposed to play. <laughs> but good and bad exist, Abby. The more you see bad, the more you appreciate good. <laughs> so <laughs> so mm. if we are telling a story mm. and everybody, all of us are good person, which we want to learn from the story. If I feel play character, we will show you say bad, bad, and the more bad you are. <laughs> the more trouble day for you. Now let's say we they learn a life lesson. Not only we started because we they teach people moral lessons. Say if you go left, for most not even movie, you know, say anywhere they do bad, in the front they go catch their own. We just we just wait say how God could catch this person because we they teach them say good is good, bad is bad. Then they always talk say on easy lies the head that wears the crown. Uh, how you they ready? for this task to lead the church. For this kind of journey of life, especially for this position that God will hold, you know. Um, you know they rely on our strength, so see, there's no amount of preparation or experience where you get, so you feel say, okay, for this kind of work, now always God you they hold. <laughs> always. <laughs> no matter how prepared you think, so you, you don't do mm -hmm. my brother, not God. So, this kind of work will force you to be humble. You know, this position will force you to be humble. Every day, they all go say, God, I beg, help me. <laughs> no people are by power, by my might. You know, yeah. they just kind of the realm. All these people wait there here, you know. God, make I not disappoint you. Make I not disappoint mm -hmm. them. Make I always speak what you want, make I speak. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I don't often talk of myself saying, that's why I don't want to do that. No, God, how you they direct? How you they lead? What do you want me to see, you know? Constantly, you must stay connected. So, my preparation is, prepare to hold God always. <laughs> That's my preparation.